Hello everybody, Max here with A1 Website Pro and today I'm going to show you how to put an image on your desktop background. It's also known as wallpaper. So there's me, my future bride. And so I, I got this image here and let me show you how, first of all, how to set up a, uh, an image or how to set a background for your wallpaper. So I'll take this one of us and I'll right click and you look for this set as desktop background and whenever you click that you'll notice that it will change the background now it's now it's this one okay so and that's pretty much how you change things around but uh, one of the things that you got to keep in mind is the size of the photograph for example you could see these two uh, if I right click and I set this one as my desktop background Watch what happens to the image. See how it's kind of cutting off the top of our heads and everything? Well, how did I get around that? Well, one of the things that you got to keep in mind is we have to ha keep things at a 16.9 ratio. Now, I put that on my post here, so you can click the link in the description, and you have all these 16.9 ratios. Now, on a, a big desktop to computer, you can, you know, go... Uh, 4k if you want to but it's not necessary uh, but if you're looking for like a really good quality and those HD images yeah you can do that but uh, I try I tend to keep mine at 1920 by 1080 well how can you do that well before previously I've talked to you guys about uh, the free software called GIMP okay and so if you fire up your GIMP program, this is a free download, and then if you click the link in the description, uh, you can navigate and download this for free. But what you want to do is just go up here and go File, New, and then you want to uh, get your sizes, and the size we want is 1920 by 1080. And so this is, the width is 1920, the height is 1080, and you got to make sure that Pixels is selected here. And then you just select OK. And what that does is that gives you a canvas of the size that you need for your for your graphic. Now, the one thing that I could do is I could come in here and I can grab this particular image that's kind of all messed up. And I'll grab it and I'll drag it in onto the canvas. And you might get this uh, little thing about converting. So we're just going to go ahead and convert the color profile. Now you can see this is doing the same exact thing that it's doing on the desktop. It's cutting off the head almost at the exact same ratio. So here, and I'll, I'll put this as a template that you guys can go ahead and download when you need to. But now I want to resize this photograph so we both look, you know, so the picture looks decent. So I'm going to hit Shift S. And what this does is it brings up my scale, okay? And I could start scaling this uh, photograph down to where I need it to be, you know. Try to still make it proportionate. I'll click scale. And maybe I'll move it over a little bit. Like so. You know. Have that happy couple there. And then, so the next thing that I'll do is I'll go file, export, and we'll say Lulu and Maximus. And we'll put that, I'll just throw it on my desktop so it's easy to find. And so I'll click, actually, you know what? I will put it in my pictures in my goddess folder, Lulu and Maximus, Lulu. And then I'll hit export, just like that. And click export again. It's going to be a PNG image, which is you know, if you're going to do it online, you probably want JPEG, but this is just for my computer. Now, whenever I go here, see my Lulu and Maximus? I'm just going to come and grab that photo. I'm going to right-click and select Set as Desktop Background. And you can see now we have a proportionate image. Okay? And it's, it's as simple as that. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, you can put a comment below. Again, I'll have this template on uh, my website so you guys can download it. So whenever you download it, it will already have the, uh, the image in there or the, uh, the canvas size that you need to work with to set your uh, ratios. 
All right. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'd love to hear from you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.